Gonzaga Prep and LC in a battle of two and one teams tonight at Joe Alvey. The Pups pushed one in first. Tom Davis right up the gut, untouched till the goal line. 16 yards. Prep takes a 14 nothing lead eventually. Second quarter, here come the Tigers. Amar Johnson, some snazzy footwork, then lowers the shoulder and gets in. Seven yards, it's 14-7. It was 21-14 prep in the third quarter. Johnson again, this time from 10 yards out. He had two touchdowns. That ties it at 21. Fourth quarter, Tigers up three, trying to seal it. Johnson, he would have had three touchdowns, but puts the ball on the ground. However, offensive lineman Ryan Leslie falls on it. LC comes back for the 31-21 win. Late game with Shadow Park and NC. The Indians get a strike first. Jake Hoffman, the floater. It falls right in the arms of Austin Trumpour. NC led it 10-0 at the half. Opening kickoff, second half. Dangerous drew before from the seven. Now, if you subtract that from 100, that's how many yards he would run. 93. The senior makes Highlanders happy. He's gone. Makes it a 10-7 ball game. Late fourth quarter, tied at 10 now. Hoffman ran it 28 times for 174 yards. He ain't stopped until he takes it home for six. NC 2-2, two two, Highlanders 0-4 after the 17-10 decision. We go volleyball now. The 4A's top-ranked team meet at 3A's second-ranked Mount Spokane. It's the Battle of the Bell. Hannah Zalapini wants to ring it. This junior gives me a 15-8 lead in game one. The Cats have a stellar junior of their own. Kennedy Clute, she puts mustard on that hot dog. The deficit is five. But Meade kills it with softness. Taylor Ellingson, boop. Panthers win the first game, 25-20. Second game, Mount Spo down four, make it three. Clute goes boom. She had nine kills, but it's a Lapanese world. She just lets us live in it. She led Meade in kills. Aces, digs, and blocks. Panthers win in three straight.